Here we are again at the future monastery cloister settlement on a mountain map my fellow gamers and going medieval fans. I have received a lot of your suggestions and ideas in the first two episodes and I will try to use all of them in this one. There will be jobs, schedule and equipment changes, most due to your tips and I will finish building the first small library. To keep my newest settler, all of them will have to fight against the search party which comes looking for a fight if they cannot get their settler back. I had more trouble with item storage, especially because I didn't upgrade my available space, so I had to make do with any spot I could find to store all the new weapons and armor taken off the attackers. A lot more stuff was done, especially with structure visual changes for example, but I will let you check all the rest for yourself. So for this episode of the Mountainside Village I have a lot of your suggestions to go through and I'm going to attempt to get as many of them in this episode but don't be strangers and post your suggestions and comments as often as you have them because I might not use every one of them in this episode but maybe I'll use them in some other let's play as you know I have used some of your advice like the advice to actually be able to select multiple one of these spots like holding the shift key and selecting multiple pieces of roofs for example and if I want to change their appearance I can do so by doing this and that is thank you for that advice your name is on the screen I have used that actually in one of the previous playthroughs and my other episodes and so you should know that if I don't use your advice right now I might use it in this episode in the next so if I don't use your advice in this episode maybe I'll use it in some other episode of some other let's play I do have three of them going on right now. In the previous episode we got this new settler who I have yet to rename for one of my subscribers and in the next episode I'm going to choose one of you new to join this crew here of the old favorites who post so many good comments and suggestions. For the moment he is going to be called Ultrad, 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 yeah Ultrad I think and he currently has no job set up although I should first check out Whoa, a cannibal? Okay, I hope he won't eat anybody. I'll just keep dead bodies away from him. In any event, he's also a hedonist. No wonder, considering he's a cannibal. And he has some weak clothing. And he has a couple of good skills, like high mining. So we'll use that to be like his number one thingy. And tailoring at 11, which isn't bad. We'll put that to like 2. We'll of course do something that I haven't done before and you have suggested this and it's a good idea to give the folks who don't have any particular job that is required for the colony to stay functioning like for example Luftwolf has high research at the moment but if there is any hauling to be done I should move it to number two because he's just helping with the research and he has nothing to tailor because that's his high skill at the moment. So I'm going to move the research to 2 and then he'll actually do steward and hauling more often. While the rest I am going to leave for the moment at 5 but using your suggestions I'm probably going to switch this down to 1 so that they all make sure to haul stuff quickly. As I said I'm not doing that currently because I have some stuff that's around the map that I've been trying to haul and if I allow all of them to be hauling at 1 priority if they're not doing anything special right now they might Many of them go to haul and I don't want that happening because I have a lot of jobs here. Although, considering I just said that, they do have a lot of jobs here, they might not even go hauling. But as I said, I'm going to keep Luftov as Stuart 1 hauling 1. And mentioning the Stuart, I need to open up these doors because my villagers will lose time moving through closed doors. And they'll keep opening and closing them and so it's faster to just keep them open at all times. And I'll do that for all the doors and this is one of my main advice I usually give and you can find this advice probably in my many let's plays but also in my guides which are linked up here and below in the description of the video. I think that's about all the doors I had and the library is moving up nicely. So additional thing as I said to check out all the jobs that Ultrad could be doing. He could do construction at like one or two priority and let's see botany that's actually excellent. So let's put that at Two, and that's cutting plants at two. He does not have a good cooking skill, so we'll turn that off. Smithing, no, even though he does have a star, it's bad. Research actually double stars, so he might actually be the one helping Moro with research instead of Wolf Tolf, considering he has double stars and he'll learn this much faster. So I'll actually put this to two. Stuart will be down to five then if I am using him for other stuff. 
and into yeah that was intelligent marksman so he'll need a bow and there is one thing that I need to fix with the bows. Uh, Stefan has marksman one, but his melee is fourteen. Actually, was it Stefan I wanted to give a bow to, or was it somebody else? I think it was Stefan because he has marksman with two stars. But I will check that in a moment. Let me just finish what I've started. I start so many things to do, and then I stop them. And I do have six hours before a search party arrives to get altered, and I'll probably have to say no because they want to keep him in my village here now culinary as i said no construction yes carpentry no i have somebody who does that much better so we'll move that down to five and speechcraft no need smithing we've turned off melee at marksman so he'll be using a bow not going for melee medicine five so don't really go for tending because your skill is low Culinary we turned off, carpentry we turned off, animal handling, yeah, you should turn that off as well since that is the new skill for making sure that honey is produced. And I think that's about it. Convalescence is at one and hunting he'll have a bow so let's go with like two because I want him to keep constructing. Actually he might go and do hunting instead of harvesting, he has double stars for that. So let's put that to three. His schedule also needs to be changed. He can let's see his current status he has full sleeping at 3 a.m he must have slept yeah he was injured and then he was recovering so he slept a lot so let's see if he doesn't need to sleep for a lot from 3 a.m you can work all the way to let's say i mean he's going to be discrepancy considering the other ones all sleep at the same time but this way I could actually have fewer beds, because if not all of them sleep at the same time, I don't have to give all of them beds. So from three, if he works for eight hours, so let's count it from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I put them to work seven hours before they go to sleep. So this is work. And also, I do remember your advice about using anything instead of setting up work, sleep, leisure time when I want them. And I know some of you suggested just putting leisure time like when they wake up. So that would be actually here. And then later before they go to sleep. So that would be here. I kind of use a different way because as you can see here, these guys are and them. They are getting leisure time after the sleep cycle and these before the sleep cycle because I don't want them all using the shrines and the game tables at the same time but i could move this for them to do it before sleep time i could move it over here before this section of sleep time and as i do like to listen to your advice as much as i can i'm going to do that right now i'm going to move their leisure time for three hours before their actual sleep time their first sleep cycle and i do have this extra hour which i think i gave them and i don't really need that extra hour anymore so for Ultra, he is going to have these three hours here before his sleep time. Then he's going to be sleeping for four hours. Then he'll wake up and work for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he'll get to sleep again. Two, three, four. And then this leisure time no longer necessary. So three hours before his sleep time this time. And I know some of you also suggested like having two hours before one sleep cycle and another before the other but i don't think that's actually the best idea because just one hour can be easily skipped if they are working on something and they don't finish it for like two hours and then they'll just simply skip that hour of leisure time and go straight to sleep and that is fixed if you use anything but as i said i am not really a fan of using anything i might try it on a few villagers just to see the difference between the villagers and I will probably leave that for a future episode. But enough about this. Let's go over to the match tab. As I said, range weapon. Yeah, I need to first check the bows. And as I said, I do have that thingy that I did with one of the settlers who should have had a bow, but turned that I didn't give him a bow. So I do have a good short bow. So that's one. And a good crossbow, which doesn't really require any skills. So Stefan is the person I wanted to switch from a melee to handed even though he has 14 skill to marksman. But was that... Hmm. Oh, let me just make sure that Altered has arranged. And no shield, headgear, 
if you can find a helmet no helmet is for the melee guys so a cap for you and yeah you have flimsy hopefully i'll make some better stuff soon i must admit i don't remember what i said about stefan yeah considering that i do have another range weapon and he has the skill to learn i think i'm going to switch the smell a good staff for an actual bow and it's been a while since the previous episode and that is why i'm having trouble remembering and you know i run three different let's plays so it's kind of getting hard to remember the specifics like this but as i said i'm pretty sure considering that these folks have shields and moro has a good spear that i think it was stefan who i wanted to switch for an actual bow because i remember that peter had a regular bow and i think julie had a regular instead of a good long bow and that left uh, stefan without a ranged weapon but i'm going to as i said switch this so i'll go to the manage tab and switch him from a melee weapon to a rage weapon he'll drop that immediately as they often do which is one of the parts of the game that i really hope the developers work a little bit more on now as for over here i did have another suggestion and i'm going to listen to it right now so here i have set up forever for production of food but to keep time efficient the time that my villagers are using this might be changed actually to the amount of 50 because honestly 50 food to have it constantly they don't really need more than that considering that i have now 11 settlers and they won't eat that much before more is made and search party is imminent so that's going to happen soon over here i do have these mechanical coupons that are still here and i wanted that to be moved and i think i left it as a possibility to be moved over here and this should be then yeah it is already so this is low this is medium so at some point somebody should move this and there's exactly why you told me to get more stewards and haulers as number one priority and i could probably get somebody oh yeah so i was having trouble pronouncing this uh, username of one of my subscribers and it's yorki Sui because he explained to me his name is combined from uh, like two words that are in the actual language so it's yorki Sui, and it's much easier to pronounce than the stuff i was using so the violent extortionists the society of fellows and they want me to either bow to their demands or not let my folk be taken so yeah i am going to defy them and refuse to bow to their demands this means i stood my ground refusing to give orders and i have to take up arms because this time yeah minus 85 alignment that's kind of strong they did not want to just go away they decided to fight me so let's see a nice shield actually wow and the crest of his settlement so one shield two shields one crossbow so that shouldn't be too difficult to fight against oh they're on top of this mountain i could head them off easily actually so let's see am i awake uh, i mean my villagers are they awake most of them actually are all of them are still sleeping but we'll wake him up so do i have some armors i think i do and that is exactly what i need to go to first so my melee folks need to go and pick up armor a lot of armor and york three actually this is yukiusha so armor as well done right armor and that's it so four armors how many do i have one two three one wooden another wooden oh so i could actually give a few more armors to them so let's go with the guys who have lower skills and lower bows so the short bows so that would be stefan let's give him an armor and that would be actually this oh it is a short bow just a different kind okay actually a different kind just different quality or is it the same quality it's the same quality for some reason i thought this picture was different than this one and let's give the new guy some armor as well so they should be getting this soon although it seems like they are doing their thing so hauling writing getting resources yeah i may have to hurry this up so let's take all of my villagers bring them over here that's 11 bring them here and then they should be picking up this armor where is placed there oh you're already you're so far there okay i'll release them now and they should be picking up their armors yeah there there they go some at least not all how many armors do i have equipped now match tab 
So, a good amount. A few haven't actually picked up their armor, but okay. We'll fight with what we have. So, these guys are gonna come down through here. They might start attacking this. And I didn't really react fast enough to head them off here. Okay, so I'll come over here with all my folks. Are you... No, actually, you're not. You're not going to be coming over here to fight. And you have a bow. You might as well go... Oh, yeah, over here. So I'll give all of them order to attack Henry. And that should make short work out of him. That won't last long. So Don Wright is going to pull back now. Just to switch their targeting. Love's Wolf is going to hit. And then I'll pull him back. Oh, nice hit. Nice hit, Love's Wolf. Okay, you attack now. Ah, oh, 44 damage. That's crazy damage. What is that? A cudgel. Why is that Kajal doing so much damage? I'm stunned. What? Where did this guy come from? Wait, so you're an archer? Yeah. I didn't even see that. Sorry, place there. My bad. So that... What? Oh, so this... I see. So some of them went this way and some of them attacked through here. Nicely done, enemies. I mean, this is the first time they actually managed to surprise me. I didn't zoom out and didn't see that happening. Oh, place there. Sorry about that. Ouch. Why are you two just standing there? Go there, help him. Gosh. Place there, got some... Ser oh, bruised arm, pierced right arm, muscle. Ugh. Ouch. There we go, victory. So, five swarm enemies taken out. Peter Beard was the bravest of the settlers, dealing most... Oh, I was. <laughs> and I took the most damage. Oh, my lord. And Yukiusha blocked the most hits. Cool. So, let's just make sure that we get the last one before he escapes. He's not escaping. Oh, he's now. Okay, but we'll deal with him in a moment. Nice target practice. Nice. Okay, so you guys are free to go. Peter is pierced arm muscle, pierced, pierced lung. Holy. Yeah, they definitely need to go and get treated. I just hope I have some buddy who isn't hit and can heal. Yeah, I do. So that's gonna be okay. I did take more wounds than I should have had because I kind of reacted slowly to the enemies, but it's okay. We'll live through this. Now, how about to see what have they brought me? And I do have, I think, a spot here for the dead bodies, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I do. Let's get somebody to start with that already. Are you injured, maybe? No, and you already saw a dead body. Okay. So go there and prioritize hole into stockpile. You, Kyusha, what are you doing? Gathering resources? Nope. Oops, not that. That was my misclick. So prioritize hauling. And who else could do that? Arakino. Let's take this body and prioritize. I'll use three of them to get all the bodies. So as for the gear, we got a sturdy cairn shift. A sturdy crossbow, which actually has a lot of hit points. So that's cool. Sturdy linen vendor clothing. Flimsy leather armor. Flimsy two-handed flail. Flimsy bludgeon. Uh, flimsy metal buckler. Flimsy iron hatchet, all iron. Flimsy spear, flimsy leather armor. Well, it's cool that I got some leather armor. And some flails. Yeah, so it's not bad. Could have been worse, could have been better, but it's okay. So, have they taken? Yeah, they have already taken some dead bodies over there. Well, let's finish this job. You that one, you that one, and you that one. That'll be it. So, yeah, we had to fight for the ordered, but... He's really a cool character. I mean, double stars on intellectual and botany. Has really high mining with the star. So I'm pretty happy with the settler I got and the wounds I had to suffer for him. Now, have they moved? Yeah, they finally moved that. So I'm going to... Uh, I'll leave that stockpile. Maybe I'll need it later. I have two of these. And this is everything here. I'll do. Now I will have even more items to take care of. So I should get them off of this rain. Allow, allow, allow. Yeah, so that's it for the dead bodies. But wait, do they bring ash here? Yeah, and they'll see the dead bodies continuously. So I'm going to turn off waste. And this will be just for dead bodies. And let's put the waste somewhere else. Let's find a... Why not put it just over here? Keep it close, but not too far away. And that would be here. No, that's warfare dumping. And just make sure that it's no caucuses. Just waste being bones. Yeah, bones, rotten meat, vegetables, 
Rotten and Ash. So that's okay. Over here, I think it's just going to be Cox's human and that's it. Yeah, okay. So going further into the settlers and their management, I do have two of them working on research, but I do have this almost finished. So uh, I need to turn on the roofs. Yeah, so this is almost finished and I will have a library here, but for a library, I do need decorative structures, which I have. So that's good. I unlocked that in the previous episode. And I think I already have some shelves here. So that's excellent. This can become a library. Right now, we'll just turn this out to a mount. We'll put zero and keep another zero here. So they'll just... Or do I have to go like one? I think... Yeah, I think it has to be one. So they'll just finish it. And then I'll move these things over here. It will become a library. And I will get much higher boost to that. So Peter is healing. Place there. And who else is this? Is this Julie? She got hit too. Oh, sorry about that, Julie. You're getting better now. See, it would stand it. Thank you, folks, for healing them. Now, about the stockpiles, as I was saying. And I also need to cut down here to finally get that basement operational. So let's take this. Uh, there was another very massive tip about how to build the future monastery cloister here. And it had some cool ideas. So I thank you. Your name is on the screen that I'm going to set up kind of an entrance through a hill. So I was thinking maybe through here or maybe through here and then have some towers on top to like use the terrain and not just level everything down and then have like a valley here instead of having at least some hills that I could incorporate in design. And I'm going to try to do that once I start making the cloister. But currently we are just making sure to have these extra rooms that are going to provide high production speed and it's nice that the developers have now switched this format here a little bit different it says production speed 100% under a roof 100% you can see this on the other workstations as well I know one of you and your name is on the screen actually reminded me that some of these have actually been changed so that for example the kilns you might not even have to keep them under a roof to have a hundred percent efficiency but I kind of got used to doing that and I always do and he did note in his own comment that if you keep your settlers under a roof they can like that better than standing in the rain and working on the workstation so that's actually one of the reasons why you might want to do this even though these might not require that and i am going to use that advice you gave me and just change this into something more fitting of the style used for the pillars and let's change the roofs a little bit as well so let's go with these and the first and the last I'm going to change as well. So flip them a little bit and here like so. Yeah, although I'm annoyed that this one, yeah, it's a bit longer. Let's see what you can do about it to switch its look. So like that and then this one looks like this. Yeah, it's a bit of a different design. Let's just wait, put this one as the regular one. Yeah, I think that looks way cooler now. And I'm definitely going to do the same thing for the rest of these things. I am just trying not to spend too much time in like changing the design because as you know, I like to give you as many tips as I can during each playthrough and use as many of your advice and tips to spice up the gameplay. Now here I have already used the round design and these walls, let's see what we can use actually. So this and then turn it like so but it looks kind of off if it's next to a square pillar so next to a rounded pillar it looks much better i think these will look better next to the window so let's use these and this one of course you cannot change but this one can go and be a round one yeah it definitely gives it more charm now that we can actually change the look of these pillars and roofs you can really get a more unique village and you know just how well people can make these villagers and settlements and i have showcased a number of them and if you haven't seen those episodes or not seen all of them i'll have a link up here in the description for my showcases of player constructions now if i'm not mistaken there was one more thing that i wanted to do i could unlock brewing at this point and i will do that and i also need to move this thing finally uh, yeah i was talking about this and then, then i went to other three topics and forgot to actually relocate this so let's see this is going to go 
Did I make this room way too small? No, I think it's still possible to do this here underneath. Yeah, because that goes there and that goes there and yeah, but hmm. Where am I going to put the other one? Like so. Okay, uh, hopefully the shelves will be reachable through here. And uh, yeah, that might not be the best design. Maybe I'll have to remove this pillar. We'll see. Yeah, I made it a little bit smaller than I should have had. So I'll have to redesign it if necessary. So yeah, as I said, like... Oh, but if I put like this and then one of them works from this spot, the other one from this spot, and there's a path through here. Okay, so that will work out nicely. Down here, as I said, needs to be dug some more so that I can actually dig all the way down and have that foot basement. And I'm going to try and go as deep as I can. What's... Oh, uh, just missing because both are packaged. Yeah, that's okay. And this is actually going to be a nice spot to do some brewing. It does Brewing doesn't really need a room. Just needs to be covered. And I'll put one here and another one here probably later. So that will work out nicely. Not enough wood. Really? Not enough wood? I haven't cut enough wood. Oh. Let's turn on back the overview for wood and see what we can cut. I have some of my own. But these will take a while to grow. And do I have any more saplings? No, I just have some herb seeds. Which I don't have a villager who can actually plant those. So I'll just find some mature trees in the neighborhood and cut these. So while they are doing that, I think I wanted to do some of your other suggestions. At least talk about them if I cannot use them in this village. As you reminded me in some of my previous episodes, I haven't given you the opportunity to see my map seed. As some of you might want to play it, the same map seed. So you can see it here and I have written it in the description as well. And as for the other suggestion advice I wanted to talk about is one of you said, and your name is on the screen, now about the blight. They have tested this thoroughly and the blight doesn't actually jump from one resource field to another, the crop fields. It actually just, it's a map wide event. So me setting up these crop fields all around and leaving room between them might actually not do anything. But I think this is not something the developers want to keep that way. They will probably switch it from being a global event to being a specific event that shows up, for example, here and then transfers to the next plant and the next plant and the next plant and then just jumps over to the next crop field if you have it too close. So I think that actually, even though this might be... Why did the sound of the rain cut out? Interesting. Even though they have said that the blight should be like something that happens at one spot and travels to another, the person who told us about this has actually tested this a lot and notice that the blight happens map wide you can't really stop it by separating your crops so i think currently that is not how the game should work and i think the developers will change that so that is why i will keep using this design with separating the plants for uh, each other at least by a little bit to prevent the blight from jumping over once it actually starts doing that and not just being a global event now as you can see a lot of these items are still here they're in the rain they're decomposing on the ground and nobody's picking them up. So let's find the person who I set up to do this. It's Luftwolf. And he is hauling currently. But I think he's hauling a lot of other stuff as well. What do you have on you? What is that? Oh, it, it's the shoulder pads of the wood armor. And they are actually branches. I must admit this is the first time I actually zoomed in on wooden armor as I rarely use it. Oh, and reminded of that. I should actually take off their armor because they are just being slowed down for no reason as they're not fighting currently so let's take that off of course now it's going to be thrown around the map so i'll just have to go with allow across the map like this so they actually pick that up and carry it to the stockpile which i actually do not have a room on i think well i have some room on this stockpile and i do have some room here i think for both apparel and warfare so i just need more people doing this so let's go over to one Actually, that's Stuart. I didn't really want to... Oh, okay, I'll leave it to three. I'll go hauling. It seems, even though I said I wasn't actually going to listen to your advice totally and use this in this playthrough, I am kind of forced by the amount of stuff I have on the ground that I don't want decomposing, like all of these weapons and stuff, to actually get that to be moved. And the trick is they do have their own jobs at one, 
which is going to keep them from actually getting to hauling. Hmm. Do I momentarily change this to two? It's going to be a hard thing to do because I will have to do a lot of changes later and remember what was... Well, it would just spend me some time, but it would actually keep this stuff from decomposing. I'll give it a few more minutes and see if now switching everybody to priority one will get them to actually move the stuff. And if they don't do so, I'll reduce their current like ones priority that are that they are doing. Why is, does this person have so many ones? So animal husbandry, harvesting, growing, cutting plants and cooking at one. This is not really a good setup. So I have other people who could be doing cutting plants and stuff. Oh, because it's 22 botany and 20 cooking and animal handling at 15. Yeah, this needs to be changed a little bit. So let's leave some other folks doing the harvesting and stuff. No, this person who has animal handling one. Yeah, so basically don't go animal handling. I mean, I'm not using animal handling because I still don't have any of the... Wait a moment. What? is going on here. Now to have resources and that's why this hasn't been built yet. Oh, but did this become a library? It did. So that's cool. And I need to turn the production back to forever for both of these tables. But I do also need to finish this room. And for that I need some more limestone which I have used up because I haven't been digging anything lately except a little bit over here which they probably dug. It's a good reminder. Let's get some stairs here. And I've been using limestone stairs and this is the resource I no longer have, but I will have it soon enough. So I will use limestone and just make sure to actually have some... Is this floor tiles? Yes, they are. So that's good. I think I'm using the limestone and then turning it into limestone bricks, although there aren't that many. So let's just dig some more. I did want to destroy this hill completely, but as one of you has suggested that I should use it for like an entrance, I'm going to stop from destroying uh, this part and just keep on tearing out this part here. Can they actually travel up? I think they can jump this field, but let's see. Let's see if they can. If they cannot, I'll do what I did before and added one more pillar here. Let's just see somebody who's hauling, producing, lift off. What are you producing? I think you're producing. Oh, that. Okay, let's go and prioritize mine. Let's see, can you get there? No, you choose to head to stockpile. So yeah, I don't think he can actually go through here without there being actually a pillar here. What do I have? I have some clay I could use. Okay, let's do a clay pillar. And then I'll think they'll be able to go through here. So Stefan, was it you with the good construction no that's actually somebody else julie julie sending construction what are you doing holding to stockpile oh this is already assigned to me <laughs> to me actually so peter there we go and let's see also what he will do now can you now where are whoa you are far away wait do you even have good mining why am i choosing you let's go with altered he has good mining so parrot is digging yeah see he can now pass so yeah without this they can't really jump there so it's a good thing I added that. In any event, this should now be done because I'll have the resources for it. Although I did set up the building of that staircase, which might take the resources as well. Yeah, it's taking up the resources. But this was supposed to be built before that. Why isn't it getting priority? Strange. Okay, so I do still have plenty of ale, so I might not start using... Hmm, I do have lots of meat. I don't really have to use red currants for food anymore. So let's switch this from using... Oh, I didn't. Oh, uh, that's good. So I'll just then start using rough wine for production and forever and that will use up the red currants, which I think I planted a lot of already. Yeah, here and here and here as well. Yeah, these are red currant shrubs. So I have planted lots of those, don't really need to. I see some dead trees. I should actually cut these down is they are simply going to rot away if I don't even use them. Let's cut some of these here as well. And any more dead trees in my surroundings? Don't see any. All the way here, it's kind of far, but okay. Now, what? You still haven't moved all of this. Uh, it's a good thing this stuff at least is here, but it's decomposing on the floor in four days, yeah. 
So yeah, they're definitely not doing this. Okay, so research two, 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 and all the rest. And I will just have to go back to once, once I actually get all those items picked up. I mean, I could like manually tell them to haul, but I kind of want that process to be automatic. So that is why I'm changing all the ones to twos to just force them to go and go pick up the stuff that they're supposed to be picking up, but they're sleeping at the moment. So that won't really happen. I mean, as I said, I could have just gone like this, set prioritize hauling. What? How is there not enough room? Oh, all the weapons. Oh, okay, I've been talking shit about my <laughs> villagers and it wasn't their fault. Okay, where do I have covered? Well, I have here, which I could extend to all this stuff and I could copy this into here. No, uh, actually, is it? Yeah, this way. Copy and then just put it here and then just turn off the food from here and then extend it over here. I know I do not really want so much stuff in here because it will slow down the villagers, but I simply didn't make this big enough and I kind of think it's faster to just put stuff at the places that I have roofs and floors at actually I don't have a floor here, then to build another one of these uh, storage facilities or to call them. So let's get the floors here. What do I have? Wood 49, I have 200 clay bricks and finally I can start putting that to good use. So let's put that here, here and here. And why have you not moved the books? That could have cleared a lot of space. Probably because these are at low priority. Yeah. So let's go with very high and that will actually free up more space than I could have actually even needed. So I think I have some more here. Maybe even have three of them here. Yeah. So very high and very high. And I think that's all of them that I built so far. I will check down here. Nope. Still don't have enough. Actually, I do have enough. They just need to actually build that. And who have they picked everything up? Still haven't picked everything up. People, priority, please pick everything up. I mean, they are working on it, but they should be working on it faster. I think it's because they are going like... Yeah, they're picking up wood and stuff. Oh, this is still here? Seriously? Wait, is, did this just get filled with food? With a lot of cabbage? Did, wait, did cabbage manage to grow already to be harvested? Let me check here. So, going to seed. Current growing phase is ripe. And I've set it up to... Yeah, that's not yet. But I think this one was actually. Yeah, that was picked up. So, cabbage is taking up so much room. Let's change this then to... I think it's mostly cabbage that I'm making food out of. So, yeah, that will be used up. Why is honey set up here? I don't want honey to be used up. Yeah, let's disable that. And I think I'm out of space again. Yeah, this is all full. Okay, let's expand this a little bit here more, but... I am running low on space again. Okay, so... Going to the furthest that I could do. Copy and put that here as well. Expand it here. Here, Actually, I am not going to be able to expand it. I'll have to copy it over to here and everywhere that I have roofs at. Hopefully now they will finally get all of these weapons and armor. Yeah, they did. Almost. I mean, a few are left, but it's really unfortunate that I lost so much HP on those items. I mean, I don't actually need all those items, especially because they're iron and stuff, but I might break some of my weapons before I can actually switch them for better ones. So I want to have backups and I will get more villagers villagers later on and new settlers so is why i want more so this should be okay now we have 30 food that's great and 26 from roasted meat 104 packaged meals that i have not used up and these should have been finished yes it was excellent you can start digging this again and i do have a floor here so these stairs won't break how far down am i now I am down, let's see, so one staircase, that's one floor, second staircase, that's second floor down, third staircase, three floors down, and where is the bottom? I am actually at the bottom. This is like 
Oh, excellent. I don't really, really have to dig on below the staircase anymore. It's a good thing I looked at. So basically I just go forward from here and then make that food cellar at the bottom where it should be the coldest that I could get. Excellent. They are going to dig a little bit here, but they should actually be digging over there and they're probably going to get a lot of limestone out of that. What are these made of? Salt? Limestone, limestone. Okay. So it's going to be okay. I could have probably moved... Yeah, that was... I just recalled. I could have moved these out uh, because the rain would not have destroyed these. And uh, I'm actually going to do that right now. So, um, okay, I can copy this one. And then just place it... Why did I not use the edges? Yeah, aren't these, like, covered? No, I did use... Or did I? No, I did not use all the edges. Oh my god, that is a lot of space I could have used. Such an overs... Uh, definitely an oversight. A big one. This would have provided a lot... Oh, because I didn't put the flooring in here. That's why I didn't use the edges. That was the reason. Yeah. Okay. I'll fix that now with some vicar flooring and I'll have plenty more space. And I will get these things out of here. So copy this, place it right now here. And just switch out everything except those. So no materials, no seeds, no warfare, no books, medicine. And just no meals, just stimulate stimulants and then turn them off from here. And I can even go with high so that they actually move it. Yeah. So my management of the items wasn't really that good in this episode. Hopefully I'll do better in the next one. I was kind of trying to get more of your advice into this episode. And I hope I got a lot of it in. And as far as I can see, we are keeping to the plan that you have helped me create. To use this part here as the entrance to the future. Wait, but... Yeah, I wanted to cover up a little bit. But yeah, there is no fertile ground beneath this. So even if I were to get rid of this, I think it's just limestone below. So the next pillar. Wait, I need to use the camera like this. So this limestone, this clay, and underneath it's limestone. So yeah, basically, even if I were to remove this, I still wouldn't get any fertile ground. So this should be an entrance to the future monastery. I have enough here to get enough fertile stuff. I mean, if the entrance is here, it won't really be a square, so that might mess me up a little bit. Oh, but I can use the entrance from here, and this actually even has several floors, so it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, so this is going to be great. So we are going to have this as the square part of the monastery cloister, and we'll use this part here as the entrance, and I might even have some good ideas about this section here but we'll leave that for the future episodes. So I might not have gone too far when it comes to the number of days and not made any new buildings, but I think I did a lot of management that has changed this monastery, future monastery village to the better. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more.